I got humanoids crossed with fish and stuff. I mean, we are screwed, people. I mean, do you understand that? You know how little kids tend to have videos and movies they just want to watch over and over every single fucking day? Well, I kind of have a few videos like that. First one is Vape Nation. Represent the nation, y'all. The second one is Boston Ross. My chick won't give me an equality time. I need my QT. And the third one is Alex Jones crying about the fucking fish people. Oh, God. They had in tanks people with gills and their little babies. They were in there just gulping, clawing at the sides. You see a turtle at the zoo and it wants out and you feel for it. The funny thing about the fish people video though, as crazy as it is, like if you guys might have seen my fucking uh my video about the human ape hybrids, like there's something about cameras that is just super fucking fascinating to me in some sick demented way. I was actually working on a video about the real research into cameras when bam, all of a sudden today, uh I don't what's today's day, the 26th. Today, all of a sudden a news story comes out that they actually managed to make human pig chimera fetuses so all right these chimeras that we have they're uh, they're probably not as fantastical i never told the story on air because it's so fantastical as uh, the ones that alex jones described they don't have fucking gills they're not floating around in tanks banging on them to get free but uh they're real and we fucking have them and the cool thing is like this technology we have to be able to make these cameras this is a potentially life-saving technology the idea is that we might be able to grow human organs inside of animals such as pigs. Although this particular example didn't, like, we didn't really get that much out of it, this combined with a mouse that they were able to grow rat organs inside of, it's kind of proof of concept that we are able to grow organs for other animals inside different animals such as humans. Considering that there's such a shortage of organs for um, people who need donations, I think it's something like 30 Americans die every single day due to organ shortages. This could potentially save a lot of lives. However, this kind of experimentation has been very controversial for a long time because it kind of, it exists in this moral gray area and there are some risks that come along with it. It wasn't until this past August that the National Institute of Health lifted its moratorium on experimentation with cameras and things like that. And this moratorium existed because of the specific ethical concerns that I'm about to tell you about. And mind you, I'm not a fucking scientist. I guess I have to tell you that because, you know, anybody who's watched this fucking channel might actually mistake me for a fucking scientist. But yeah, I'm not a scientist. I'm just a guy who's interested in this kind of weird shit. But please feel free to correct me in the comments, especially since what I'm about to tell you. It's working off this article I found when I was doing my research, and I can't fucking find it again, but it basically, it took the ethical concerns and put them in layman's terms. But basically, when you're making these kinds of human-animal hybrids with stem cells, there exists a remote possibility that it could develop a human consciousness. Imagine being trapped inside of a pig's fucking body. That would suck. Like, Babe is a cute movie, but you don't want that to be your fucking life. I mean, I don't know, there's, maybe there's some furries or other kin watching this video that are like, yeah, that sounds fucking great, but uh, I'm sure the vast majority of you don't want to be human pigs. But then you have the other end of it. What happens if, say, you have a human consciousness inside of a pig, but because that is the only life that this pig with a human consciousness has ever known, that it just winds up growing up like a normal pig? That raises all kinds of questions about what the difference actually is between, uh, a uh, human's consciousness and an animal's consciousness. It kind of raises questions about the nature of consciousness itself. Which, uh, okay, like, perhaps those are important questions to address, but you don't really want this to be foisted upon some being against its will. Ultimately, though, researchers say that this is a very, very unlikely possibility. I mean, it could happen, but it probably wouldn't. And I'm the kind of person that likes to err on the side of progress. If we have this technology that could potentially save thousands of lives every single year, I think we should pursue it. I just hope that it gets applied ethically. Although honestly, a sick side of me kind of like wants to see the fish people. Alex Jones, if you're watching this, please, please show me the fucking fish people. I will buy you a beer or something, I don't know. Oh, God. Until next time, everybody be a human trapped in a pig body.